The Arctic is warming faster than any other place on Earth, threatening global climate stability. In response, scientists have a new ally in their quest to understand these changes, the Tara Polar Station. This state-of-the-art vessel is designed to drift with the Arctic ice, serving as a mobile research hub in one of the harshest environments on the planet. Its unique oval hull and robust aluminum structure are engineered to resist the crushing pressure of the ice. Inside, it houses modular laboratories that can be reconfigured for various scientific studies, from marine biology to climate science. The project began as a visionary idea to create a floating laboratory that could endure the extreme conditions of the polar regions. Traditional shipbuilding methods wouldn't suffice, leading to innovative solutions like multi-pass welding of 20 millimeter thick aluminum sheets. The station will be operational for up to 500 days at a time, providing an unprecedented opportunity for long-term study of the Arctic environment. How did this ambitious dream transform into a tangible reality, ready to tackle the mysteries of the Arctic? Imagine a place where the ground is never solid, where the horizon stretches out in a never-ending expanse of ice, and where the chill in the air can bite through the thickest layers. This is the Arctic, and it's changing faster than any other place on Earth. The ice is melting, the seasons are shifting, and the delicate balance of life in this frozen wilderness is under threat. This is not just a distant problem, the Arctic acts as a global thermostat with its icy surface reflecting sunlight and helping regulate the planet's temperature. As it melts, this balance is thrown off, leading to more extreme weather patterns around the world. Understanding these changes is not just important, it's urgent. Enter the Tara Polar Station, a floating fortress designed to withstand the Arctic's brutal conditions. This isn't just any ship, it's a laboratory on ice, built to drift with the packed ice and provide scientists with a unique platform to study this rapidly changing environment. The station's design had to overcome immense challenges. How do you build a vessel that can resist the crushing force of moving ice? Traditional materials and designs wouldn't cut it, and that's exactly what the engineers and scientists set out to do. This ship was designed not just to sail through ice, but to be locked in it for months, even years. Traditional ships are built to break through ice, but the Tara Polar Station is different. It's meant to drift with the ice, becoming part of the frozen landscape. The journey from idea to reality began more than 10 years ago. The first step was to design a ship that could handle the unique challenges of the Arctic. The engineers needed a hull that could resist the immense pressure of the ice. They decided on an oval shape, similar to an olive pit. This shape helps the ship avoid getting crushed by the ice, allowing it to rise with the pressure instead. But what material could withstand the extreme cold with temperatures ranging between minus 20 to minus 52 degrees Celsius and a constant threat of ice? Steel was too heavy and could become brittle, the answer was aluminum. Aluminum is lightweight, resistant to corrosion, and remains flexible even in freezing temperatures. It's also incredibly strong, making it perfect for the harsh conditions of the Arctic. However, working with aluminum posed its own challenges. It's harder to weld than steel, and the sheets needed for the hull were thick, about 20 millimeters. Finding suppliers who could produce these sheets was a task in itself. The hull construction was a multi-step process. First, the lower part, which would be submerged in water, was built with extra reinforcement to withstand impacts with ice. Then, 6,000 pieces formed the upper part of the hull, each one fitted and welded onto the lower part. This process required incredible precision, with each piece adjusted to the millimeter to ensure a perfect fit. Inside, the station had to be as functional as it was sturdy. The layout was designed with modular laboratories that could be reconfigured based on the needs of the scientists on board. 
This flexibility was crucial as the research goals could change from one mission to the next. Everything was modeled in 3D before construction began, from the machine rooms to the fluid systems. This digital blueprint ensured that every piece of equipment would fit perfectly and work seamlessly together. A critical part of the station is the moon pool, located at the center of the ship. This large, open shaft extends from the deck to the water line, allowing scientists to lower equipment into the water even when surrounded by ice to a depth of 2,500 meters. The moon pool's simple design made it one of the less challenging aspects of the construction, but it's essential for conducting scientific experiments. As construction continued, another challenge emerged, complying with regulations. The Tara Polar Station had to meet with both international and French maritime standards, including the Polar Code, which dictates safety and environmental requirements for ships operating in polar waters. But there were no existing rules for a ship of this unique size and shape. New guidelines had to be developed, taking into account the properties of aluminum and the specific conditions the station would face. With the hull complete, attention turned to the superstructure. This included the geode, a large dome-like structure that houses the living quarters and some of the laboratories. Building the geode was simpler than the hull because it used thinner, flat aluminum sheets. However, attaching it to the hull required careful planning and precise execution. The construction site in Cherbourg, France buzzed with activity as the pieces came together. Engineers, welders, and designers worked in unison, each step meticulously planned and executed. The shipyard used advanced techniques like automatic welding to ensure the joints were strong and reliable. But the technical challenges didn't end once the construction was complete. The Tara Polar Station had to undergo rigorous testing. First, dockside tests ensured that all systems were operational. Then, the ship would face sea trials, where it would be put through its paces in the open water. These trials were crucial for validating the design and ensuring that the station could handle the extreme conditions it was built for. The real test, however, would come in the Arctic. The first mission was planned to take the station into the Fram Strait in summer, where it would drift among the sea ice. A second mission would follow in winter, locking the station in a frozen fjord. These missions would not only test the ship's resilience, but also provide invaluable experience for the crew and scientists on board. Speaking of the crew, the station can handle 18 crew members at a time, but living and working in the Arctic presents its own set of challenges. The crew would face months of isolation, extreme cold, and long periods of darkness. Ensuring their safety and comfort was a top priority. The station was designed with heated cabins, a mess room, and even a banya, a traditional steam bath, to provide some warmth and relaxation. Every detail was considered, from the layout of the kitchen to the placement of heated closets for drying equipment. The scientific equipment also needed careful consideration. Instruments required precise installation to function correctly in the harsh environment. Water flow, electricity, gas supply, and network connections all had to be meticulously planned and executed. The modular laboratories allowed scientists to adapt the space to their needs, whether they were studying marine biology, climate change, or other critical research areas. Limiting the environmental impact of the Tara Polar Station is crucial. As the station drifts through the Arctic, it collects vital data on rapid global changes. But this specific pursuit must be balanced with ecological responsibility. From construction to operation, every step aims to minimize the station's footprint. The crew and scientists will stay aboard for extended periods, handling diverse research projects. This requires efficient space management for equipment, spares, and consumables. Waste management is a daily challenge, particularly with space constraints and chemical handling. The station is powered by carbon-free energy production, 
thanks to wind turbines, solar panels, and third-generation biosourced fuels, significantly reducing its environmental impact compared to traditional diesel-powered expeditions. To reduce light pollution, a special LED system provides warm lighting. In the labs, green or red lights replace traditional white ones, ensuring minimal contrast when handling samples from the dark Arctic waters. The Tara Polar Station is a leap from its predecessor, the Schooner Tara, with almost 10 times more scientific space. Designed specifically for polar exploration, a comprehensive set of instruments will be deployed to study the physico-chemical interactions between the atmosphere, the surface layer of sea ice, and the underlying ocean. Cytometers and other instruments for advanced cell biology will allow experimentation with living organisms and the observation of intracellular phenomena. DNA sequencing tools tested on the Tara schooner will also be deployed on site. The first expedition is set for 2026. As the Tara Polar Station heads to the North Pole, it marks a new era of research and conservation. With two ships in action, the next 20 years will be crucial for understanding and protecting our planet's delicate balance. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications.